Hello! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be making oven baked lamb leg with mashed potatoes and gravy. Let's get started! The first thing I'm going to do is remove the lamb from the plastic. Once you're finished taking the lamb out of the plastic bag, you're going to want to wipe it with a paper towel. And to make sure to do it on both sides. This is what it looks like once you're done wiping it on both sides with a paper towel. Then put some olive oil on the lamb leg. You don't want to put too much though. You just want to put enough. Rub it in with your hands. Make sure to get every single spot of the lamb, even the sides. Then you're going to want to put some olive oil on the other side of the lamb leg as well. And make sure to rub it in with your hands. Then you want to sprinkle the lamb leg with salt and pepper. Do that to the other side of the lamb leg as well. And rub it in with your hands. And I have a baking pan here, and I'm just going to use this to sear the meat. Add some olive oil to the baking pan. And let the oil heat up. Once the oil is heated up, we're going to start searing the meat. Be careful when you're searing the meat. I'm getting help from my dad because the lamb leg is really heavy. So be careful when you're moving the lamb leg around. You want to sear all of the sides of the lamb leg. This is what it looks like once it's been seared on all of the sides. And when you're done searing the lamb leg, you want to poke holes in it with a little knife. You don't want to poke them too big, just big enough so then you can fit the garlic and rosemary in it. Once you're finished poking holes on both sides of the meat, you want to stuff it in with some garlic. Just like this. And I'm also going to stuff the holes in with some rosemary. I have some fresh rosemary here. It's from my garden and I'm just going to snip some pieces off and cut them into small pieces like this. And then you want to put the rosemary that you cut into small pieces inside of the holes. And I'm also going to put these in the same holes that I put the garlic in. I'm only going to put the rosemary on one side of the meat. You want to take two white onions and slice them up. 
I'm just going to slice them into small pieces like this. Then I'm going to cut up one stick of celery into small pieces, but I'm not going to cut them too small. And I'm also going to cut a carrot into small pieces as well. And then I'm going to saute all of the vegetables I just sliced in the same pan where I seared the lamb leg. And I'm just going to saute them just a little bit. Not too much though. Then add the rest of the salt and pepper and mix that really well. And this is what it looks like once it's done. Now I'm just going to turn off the heat. And then I'm going to take a rack and put it inside of the baking pan. And I'm also just going to add a little bit of white wine. And then I'm going to put the lamb leg on the rack. And I'm going to bake the lamb leg in the oven for 2 hours and 30 minutes. And I'm also going to get my dad to help me put this in the oven because this lamb leg is really heavy. And I'm going to bake this at 350 Fahrenheit. And also, be careful when you're putting this in the oven because the oven's really hot, so you don't want to burn yourself. And while I'm waiting for the lamb leg to bake, I'm going to start making the mashed potatoes. And now I'm going to start peeling the potatoes. And once the potatoes are done being peeled, I'm going to start washing them and putting them into a pot with water. And I'm going to boil the potatoes in the pot for 30 to 40 minutes on high heat. Now I'm going to show you how to know when the potatoes are done. Just poke a fork through the potatoes and if it goes through really fast, then that means they are done. So my potatoes are done, so now I'm going to start mashing them. I already smashed them a little bit with a spoon, um, but I'm going to let my mixer do the rest of the mashing. If you don't have a mixer, that's okay. You can just use a fork or a potato masher. Once your potatoes look like this, you're gonna want to add one cup of warm milk. I microwaved this milk for one minute. And I also wanted to tell you to add the warm milk in gradually. So now I'm just going to stop the mixer and just scrape down the sides. And then I'm going to add some pepper and some salt as well. 
I'm only going to add a little bit, but you could add a little bit more if you want. And I'm just going to mix this until it becomes smooth. And if you still have a little bit of milk left, then add the rest of it. And this is what it looks like once it's done. Okay. Mmm! Mm-hmm. So that's gonna go so well with the lamb leg that we're baking. Oh yeah, that is so creamy. You guys have to try this out. And once one and a half hour is finished, you want to take the lamb leg out of the oven. And then just brush some butter onto the lamb leg. I'm not going to add too much though. I'm just going to add enough butter to coat the top. And then I'm just going to put it back in the oven once I'm finished adding the butter on it. Now that two hours and 30 minutes are finished, I'm going to take the lamb leg out of the oven and I'm just going to transfer it to a plate. going to start making the gravy. The first thing I did to make the gravy was to turn on the heat and just use the lamb juice from the lamb. Second thing I'm going to do is to take some beef broth but if you don't have any beef broth, that's okay. You can just use a beef cube and then boil it with some water. Anyways, I'm just going to throw in one fourth cup of flour and just mix that in. And by the way, I'm using all purpose flour. And just mix that in until you can't see any lumps. Then I'm just going to pour that in with the lamb juice and then you just want to stir that up with a wooden spoon and you just want to mix that until it becomes combined together. And I also wanted to tell you to add some brown sugar and some oyster sauce just to darken up the gravy a little bit and if you think your gravy is starting to get a little bit thicker than you'd want it to be then just add a little bit of hot water and then mix it up and then um, if it's still a little bit thick then just add a little bit more until it's at the consistency you like. And then I'm just going to start straining the gravy with a strainer and I'm going to um, have a pot underneath the strainer so that it can catch all of the gravy. I'm straining this because I don't want any of the celery and the carrots to be inside of the gravy. I just want the gravy by itself. And I'm just going to pour the gravy into this gravy holder. And now it's time to try the lamb leg, the gravy, and the mashed potatoes. Why don't you love me, love me, love me?
And then I'm just going to start pouring a little bit of gravy on top of the lamb slices. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. I just want to try one right now. I wish you guys were here so then you could also try this out. First, I'm going to start off with some mashed potatoes. Oh my god, they're so creamy and so smooth. Now I'm just going to take some of the lamb because I just want to try it and tell you guys how it tastes. I'm going to take some lamb and some mashed potatoes and put them both in my mouth. Mmm! The lamb is so good. The lamb and the gravy combined together is just so flavorful and the mashed potatoes it's so creamy and it just dissolves in your mouth i give this two thumbs up this is just so good and the lamb leg it's so tender and it's so delicious as you can see by the way i'm eating it i'm really enjoying this dish and if you're a meat lover just like me, you're going to love this recipe. And this is a really quick and easy marinade for the lamb leg. And all of the herbs flavors just seeped inside of that meat, like that garlic and the rosemary, all of their flavors just seeped into that meat. And it's just so good. I'm just going to add a bit more of that gravy because they just taste so good together. The gravy and the lamb just taste so delicious together. And if you love lamb leg and mashed potatoes, then leave a red heart in the comment section down below. These mashed potatoes and this roast lamb is really good for any special occasions. If you want to eat meat but you don't really feel like eating pork or beef, then this is the recipe for you. And if you want to try this recipe out, then please be sure to make the mashed potatoes and gravy with the lamb because these just taste so good all together. It will blow your mind. I really enjoyed eating this lamb and this mashed potato. They go really well together. So if you want to try out this recipe, then make sure to combine it with some mashed potatoes because it just tastes so, so well with the mashed potatoes. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And please don't forget to click that notification bell to be notified when I post my next video. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye! Treat your family to a mouth-watering rosemary and garlic roast lamb paired with mashed potatoes and gravy. Also, roast lamb like studded with rosemary and garlic makes a great presentation at a holiday or a dinner party. If you haven't cooked lamb leg before, you are in the right place to start your homemade oven lamb leg. Don't you love me, love me, love me Touch me, touch me, touch me